All right, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since I've done another video, so this one will be the first one, hopefully. <laughs> Do some more. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Homeworld. This is a franchise that I have loved for a very long time. Um, I actually went and found um, some of my old copies just to show that <laughs> this, this is a game I have loved for a very long time. So for them to actually do a board game version, I'm really excited for. Hopefully, it plays really well. Um, just received this today. So excited I had to do an unboxing straight away. But let's dig into this. So this is a very thick rule book. Um, decent thickness too. That's, um, that's quite nice. Um, I'm trying a new setup as well. Uh, some new lighting and stuff. Hopefully it's a lot better. Um, at some point I will actually get a better, better setup. Uh, yeah, okay. So contents, that's good. Um, this is really nice. And they actually list of what everything is so you can just go straight to it. <clears throat> um, just reading over some of the stuff, the really Kushan, the Tadan, so many people pronounce those incorrectly. Now I ended up getting the Grand Admiral Pledge, so I ended up just getting everything there was and then a little bit extra. Oh, let's get the scenarios in there too. Rule summary on the back. Sorry, let me just check that focus just to make sure that's in. Won't show off too many of those scenarios for those that are actually getting this. We've got the setup and first contact. Shows how many rounds. Oh, and actually tells you how many, what cards to use as well. Interesting. Just off camera for a sec, I'll have a look. So I believe that it will slowly introduce rules as you play through each of the scenarios. And by the fourth or fifth mission, it will have every rule in the game all laid out. Let's get this board open. That's pretty big. And that's like that. That's quite nice actually. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I'll have a look at that after. Um, so there's a problem already. That's already starting to pull away. And I've been careful with this not to... No. Yeah, that is a shame. Yeah, that's already starting to... To split. I might have to put a little bit of glue in that. Right. Punch boards. <clears throat> well, as you heard, one of them just fell out, so by the sounds of it, these actually... That's smooth. That's very smooth. That's good to know. Objectives. Harvesters, possibly. As I'm handling this, accidentally popping out things. Ah, okay, so when you come to harvest the asteroids, let's put that down for a sec. Each of them will have 
the different different stars. So they'll be laid out on the board. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like that. Once you go to it and flip it, that's how many stars. That's cool. <laughs> it's falling out all over the place. Oh, look at that one. That's cool. Yeah, cool. There are like ships and stuff. Oh, that's a shame. There's no like little finger holes to lift the tray up. <laughs> Everything fell out. <laughs> the tray didn't follow it. Oh, sorry about that. Well, everything's here now. Let me get. And I shall use the back of the case. So these are the Kushan. Little fighters. They are very small. I don't have big hands, but yeah, these things. They are very small. Sorry, I'm gonna fix something here. Mothership is decent. Bit of flash there. We'll clean that up. Little wonky. Bit of hot water I'll fix up. We have the mothership. We have the tie down fighters. Big cruisers. I'm just, I think. Yeah, I think these ones are the. There's a destroyer and a carrier. So it's just got a little flat spot. That sits on. You got the, the carriers. Yeah, they cool. I didn't think these would be so difficult to try and get out of the little packets. A decent detail on these little ships for those that would like to paint them there's little details enough in there for them these actually look quite nice
Well, they gave us a bunch of baggies, which is good. So we're good to go. Nice. Some just generic colored dice. Nothing over special. I think they sit that way. Got some cards, so I won't be going through all of these. That's really nice when they do that. And I know that it cost extra. And the cards, Kushan the tie down. Abilities. So. I'll just go through a couple of them. Ah, the old Bentuzi. Interceptors, Scouts, Bombers, Defenders, Multi Gun Corvettes. Heavy Corvettes. Go the mothership. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, where'd it go? Mothership. So the to the star of the corner. So that's you decide on how many points at the start that you're going to play. And the mothership will cost seven. These are what is also included with the mothership for free when you pay that cost. And the carriers are the same. So it's an, a, one way of being able to expand your fleet um, with extra fighters because they come with, with extras. Just like that one. It just saves on cost when adding the extra ships. So we've got. Sorry, get rid of that lid. Um, some command cards, the leader cards. Those are really easy to unwrap. So the cost, squad leader, I'll have to read through the rule book to properly know what which of these are. You know, you've got the, the symbol for what unit these are used for, so you'll have to figure out what each of the, the symbols are. And we'll move on to the next box in a minute. The basic actions. Harvest reinforce. Ah, okay. Yeah, cool.
So this one This box is massive. That's how tall it is. <clears throat> so this is the stretch goals box. That was an extra lot of fun. So I'm wondering if I might be able to put the core game into this. It could work. Got some dice trays. Now what actually got me excited for the dice trays is they're not those really stupid neoprene versions. These ones are actually a nice cardboard with a print. That's decent. The only thing I have noticed is you can see from the glare that it's embossed a little bit, but it doesn't line up with the logo. Let me see, especially on the, the large one, you can see that it's not actually done around the actual design itself. So that's that's a manufacturing error. That's a shame. And the other one's exactly like it too. So I wonder if that's the whole the whole thing. Um, now, maps. That's, so that's got two in this one. That's an additional two, four, six. And then I've got the one from the main game. And I think the campaign expansion might add an extra. So all the map. Oh, bloody hell. Sorry about that. That is a big fight to get that lid off, which is really annoying. So these are the, I'm wondering if a, a mat, mat box might actually help. So these are the, the stealth fighters and they're done on that, that clear plastic. Yeah, so one set was the Kushan, the other one's the Titan. I'll sort of this later. Here we have the first player token. Bloody hell, that is... That is really wrapped. That was almost shrink wrapped. That's really nice. That's a really nice coin. We got some more cards, more abilities, all the stretch goal stuff that was reached. The um, quality of the cards is 
Yeah. Just standard, nothing special. Doesn't have black core, any of that stuff. So all of the extra dice. So two sets of the gray, another set of the blue and red, and then another set actually looks like a mustard yellow and all the pictures it seemed like it was going to be a very bright yellow oh yeah cool the fighter bases let me find some of those so when you move these they move as a squadron they when the squad takes damage, you remove these. But yeah, how cool is that? And it's a clear base too, so that'll look nice on when you put it onto the board. That's cool. So we got two big piles of those. That's really nice. There should be enough there. Um, some more of the ships. Some more carriers. More carriers. And more destroyers. Campaign expansion box. Now the inside, as well as just basic white, there's no image. The um the box quality itself, you can see that it's, it's all right. I have seen a lot better boxes, but it is what it is. It's the campaign book, same quality as the other one previously, nice thick. Pages are nice and thick as well. So we got... Bombers and frigates and stuff. Double sided maps. Ah. So the game maps for this board is actually different. Rules references. So some more scenarios. The campaign in that book. The colours are quite nice. I don't know if that's actually coming through on the camera as well as it is. But it looks really, really nice. Ah, oh, tuck boxes. Those are cool. Put all the cards in. Yeah, cool. I'd forgotten about that. Some more punch board stuff. Yeah, bloody hell. might stick something um, little piece of fabric or something around the inside that comes up and around it's almost like a like a tab or so that I can grab it grab onto to lift this out 
Because that, that's an absolute pain in the ass just to do that. Got more upgrade cards. I won't go through all the cards. Because there's a lot of cards. <laughs> 12 points. But it's quite possible that's how many cards, damage cards you get to play from this thing in defense cards. Oh, cool. We shipyards and a oh, prison station. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> well, we're adding settlements and stuff now. Okay. Some more baggies for all the ships. And just trying to figure out. So the fighters, that's more of the same. Those are different. Oops, butterfingers. Yeah, these are cool. I'm trying to figure out what the different types of uh, models for the ships that there is so I can at least try and show off all of them. Because there are some doubles that they put in here as well. Yep, same those. They've seen those. Then more. These ones we haven't. More cards, more of the same. <clears throat> so this box I had previously. So these are all the resin ships. See, I'm wondering if some people out there that got this big one, if they're going to assume that these would be pre-built. And because they are resin, these are a little bit more fragile. But the level of detail you can get into this. Flip that back over. Little bit to clean up, a little bit of flash. So it'll go under there. Yeah, so I have to clean that up. You can see that. I know some people are probably gonna complain because they won't know how to, to fix this and glue it together. Um I mean, all I can say, anybody that watches this that got these, don't know how to glue them, you've got to use super glue. You can't use plastic glue. It's not going to work. These are decent for what they are. They weren't trying to go for top quality resin casting or anything. But these are decent. At least we got them. Let's get the Bentuzzi.
I'm not actually sure where that meant that's meant to go. Oops. Yeah, that's cool. All of that will be fun to build. But yeah, that's decent. Uh, the two last things... ...is the tie-down fleet in the yellow yeah, the punch board's already doing its job for me so all the tie down ships that were in red everything is in this and now just in the mustard yellow. That's, that's everything we've already seen. And then the Kushan in grey. More punch boards. All the punch tokens. Yeah, and then all of the blue that we saw is in grey. And if you were a backer, you know why we wanted this. But for those that aren't a backer and looking at possibly getting this, um, it's made by Modifius, and you can at the moment go onto their website at the time of filming and purchase the Grand Admiral which is everything that you've seen here this actually look really nice and grey I wasn't going to get some of those out but I will now actually so you can go on to Modifius's websites and they do have some of these left um, this took a little longer to deliver as there was some damage to the US stock when it arrived so they had to go through a check and just double check that there was no more damaged stock otherwise this actually would have arrived here in Australia I would say about a month or so ago now I absolutely hate yellow it is the worst colour to ever exist. But these aren't too bad. I actually don't mind these at all. From all of the, po the photos, the pictures, everything that was on the Kickstarter, these look like they were going to be bright yellow. But as for the lighting, I'm, I'm hoping this comes across. They're a very mustard colour, which is tolerable. But yeah, that's... That's actually quite nice. I like that. The sculpts are nice. Um, it's a pity about that map. The board that's coming apart a little bit. But as for the quality of everything else, they seem to be pretty decent. I mean, I didn't expect anything amazing from the dice. We already knew there were going to be just basic D6s. Just in the colour of whatever the army was that we were going to have. Um... Which is why there's multiple colours, is that originally they were only going to do the blue and red and people said, well, what if we want to have a four player game? Because that's what this game can actually play up to 16 plus if you really wanted to. There's enough boards, 
and we said as as backers if we're going to play a four player game it's going to be a little bit hard to tell if you've split you know, the Kushan and the Tidan in the blue and red if this is player one that's player two that's player three and that's player four they're the same color it's a bit hard to tell so i'm very glad that they've done the additional colors that way when you pick your faction you've got the color and you're good to go so hopefully this plays really well it seems like it is uh, there are a few pdfs that we're waiting for that hasn't been given to us access to yet uh, but everything yeah i'm happy with it it looks good uh, thanks for watching um, if you're going to get this, leave a comment. Uh, I'd like to think, I'd like to know what everyone thinks about this game as well. Uh, if you have been playing Homeworld back in the day as well as a as a gamer, if not, I recommend you give it a try. The remastered version is just brilliant. I'm not trying to plug this or anything, but just more of a if you're curious about the game, remastered one and second game grab that it's awesome all right thanks for watching